girls, we're out here at nighttime. I'm holding this thing because I'm mic'd up today because we're on video. This is 600 LT, stage two, 93 octane. You line up next to your buddy and he's gonna see how much ethanol is in it. Anywho, uh, we're gonna f with it tonight and um, gonna make it do what it do. So come on. sweet little car so McLaren LTs are where it's at if you've been around a brand for a while I can tell you that the three of them that they've made 600 765 and going back to 675 are the cats meow raw cars they don't do you many favors um, they're loud and annoying and the rocks ping off the tub and stuff like that but if you just want to tickle your balls a little bit and have a good time, and you're not in it that long, so the bucket seats don't bug you, they can be a whole lot of fun. So, again, this car is an event. Everything feels great. It looks like a spaceship, spits flames. For 200 grand, you too can have a UFO. Plus a little bit on top. You bring it to your favorite tuner with a mullet and he sauces it up for you. And a cool thing that just demonstrated, I think you got it on camera, it was me sawing at the wheel, was the LTs, I don't remember when they started. I think the first ones, uh, 675, had clutch dump mode. So if you smash the gas, you can do one of them nice little cool rolling burnouts. And if you want to do other things dynamically with the car, it's also possible. But this setup like this, a 93, we're looking at like 650 wheel. And I completely lost my train of thought. God damn it, Jose. I forgot what I wanted to say. We have a tire pressure alarm going off, which in this car sounds like we're launching missiles. Call the enemy missiles, sir. Captain, we're prepared to counter launch. It's really cool at 180 miles an hour when it does it to you, and you don't know it's going to do it to you. Have you ever gone fast in a Mac? So, anyway. If you've ever gone fast in one of these cars, um, when you hit a certain speed, you know, the heat causes the tires to expand, the air pressure goes up. So at 170, 180, 190 miles an hour, they like to throw tire pressure warnings. And the first time that it does it to you and it sounds like you're launching nuclear missiles, uh, it can catch you out. Um, that, it's not very nice, it's not very uh, welcoming, but it is one of those things that I file under McLaren peculiarities. Pull over here, take a little piggy boo at this data. Nice, hobo on a skateboard, love to see it. Oh, yeah. spaz and hobo on a skateboard, all right, good deal. My man, right on, keep on keeping up. All right, after much deliberation, pouring over data, Diagnostic butt dyno activities. I pronounce it sauced. For 200 and some change grand, this is a lot of car. It's been a long one. It's been a hot one. It's halfway through fucking September and Houston, Texas, it's still 100 and some degrees, which isn't too good for the cars, isn't too good for nothing. But um, this is where we find ourselves, so. <sighs> Jose, I need you to take the camera away from me, otherwise I'm just gonna talk to it all night. It's my new friend. You see, when I was a child, I was an only child. 
My friend was a go-kart. That's why I drive cars for a living now. No, Jose, that's my friend. I like him. He doesn't talk back.